U.S. Army Infantry. U.S. Marine Infantry. Two of the most skilled and equipped infantries in the entire world. What sets them apart? What do they have in common? What can they do? Let's take a dive into what you need to know about Army Infantry and Marine Infantry. We'll start off the video with a brief introduction on both of these entities. Let's kick it off with the Army Infantry. The Army Infantry is the ground force and backbone of the Army. From airborne, to rangers, to pathfinders, to air assault, this infantry is not only diverse, but very big as well. The Army is more than twice the size of the Marine Corps, and this shows. They have state-of-the-art equipment, ranging from tanks, armored personnel carriers, and infantry fighting vehicles, and a whole lot of funding. The Marine Infantry is the Department of the Navy's fighting ground force. But not only do they attack by ground, they also attack by air and sea. Highly trained and professional, they do more with less. It is known that the Marine Corps is small, and their funding isn't the best. Yet the Marine Infantry maintains its proficiency in battle. From scout snipers to recon marines, the marine infantry is also diverse and a force to be reckoned with. Alright, you just got a brief introduction on both of these elite infantries. Let's dig a little deeper and go over their capabilities, missions, and opportunities. Alright, let's go over the capabilities, missions, and opportunities for both of these infantries. As we just said, the Army Infantry has a lot of soldiers, equipment, and funding. It is much bigger than the Marine Infantry, so while there will be a lot of overlap on how things are done, there will be some key differences here. For starters, you'll have a lot more responsibility at a lower rank in the Marine Infantry as compared to the Army Infantry. Due to the Marine Corps' culture and size, Marines typically take on bigger roles and positions at a lower rank as compared to their Army counterparts. The Army Infantry is better equipped for long-term engagements, due to it being more of an occupational force. While the Marine Infantry is a striking assault force, the Army is better equipped for sustained combat. We'll put it to you like this. The Marine Infantry could attack an enemy's base and get them to fall back, and the US Army Infantry would take over and occupy that same base while the Marine Infantry moves on to the next area to take over. There's a lot more complexities involved in that scenario, but we try to keep it simple stupid here at General Discharge. We're sure some of you are very familiar with that concept. The Army has tanks, whereas the Marine Infantry is getting rid of theirs. There's a lot of restructuring going on in the Marine Corps currently, and the Marine Infantry is being affected. Known as Force Design 2030, there are tons of changes headed their way for the Marine Corps. By looking at what's going on, a way of looking at the two different entities is that Marine Infantry is more of a light infantry force, whereas the Army Infantry is more of a heavy infantry force. Another key difference between the Army and Marine Infantry is the fact that the Marines have amphibious capabilities, whereas the Army Infantry does not. Remember, the Marines are in the Department of the Navy, so they will have many operations that are closely integrated with naval ships and amphibious assault vehicles. Amphibious warfare is the name of the game for the Marine Corps. And speaking of the Navy, the Navy is closer to the Marine Infantry than you think, unlike the Army, which has its own organic combat medics, also referred to as 68 Whiskies, who are attached to them. The Marines do not have their own medical assets. They pull from the Navy, with the majority of them being corpsmen. If you want to learn more about corpsmen, stick with us until the end. Okay, so you get the gist of what these infantries are. What are their career fields like, as well as their opportunities? Well, in the Army, if you're an infantryman, you're either an 11 Alpha, 11 Bravo, or an 11 Charlie. An 11 Alpha is an infantry officer, an 11 Bravo is your standard infantryman, and 11 Charlie is an indirect fire infantryman, otherwise known as a mortarman. This means that you get to serve in the Army infantry as either an enlisted or an officer. In the Marines, you're an 03. There's a lot of other MOSs you can get further in your infantry career, but we'll focus on the core ones. 
four enlisted Marine Infantry MOSs are 0311, 0331, 0341, 0351, and 0352. Then there's 0301, which is your basic infantry officer. So this also means you can serve as both enlisted or officer in the Marine Infantry. As far as follow-on training, there's a lot of opportunities for both of these career fields. In the Army Infantry, you can go airborne. Did you know General Discharge has an Instagram? We actively post memes, video updates, and whatever else we feel like. Join the team and follow us at general.discharge. Links in the description. Now back to the video. Air Assault, Ranger, Pathfinder, go to sniper school, and much more. It just depends on your unit. In the Marines, you can become a scout sniper, recon marine, in rare circumstances go to jump school, and in even rarer circumstances, ranger school. Again, right place and right time with some of these schools. By default, the Army has much more opportunities for training and the like due to its size and funding, whereas the Marines do not. While there's a lot of differences between the Army and Marine Infantry, they're still both infantry. There's tons of overlap with how they do things, as well as culture. With that out of the way, you now know some key similarities and differences between them. We're now going to go over the structure of both of these infantries, as well as go over where you can be stationed. After that, we will go over the training pipelines and requirements for both of them. Let's start off with the structure of the U.S. Army Infantry. Just keep in mind, the Army is a much bigger branch than the Marine Corps, and its makeup is more complex. We'll keep things simple for you here. The U.S. Army employs three different types of infantry. Light infantry, striker infantry, and mechanized infantry. Light infantry has airborne infantry, air assault infantry, and ranger infantry. You can think of striker infantry as medium infantry, and mechanized infantry as heavy or armored infantry. To understand the breakdown of the U.S. Army infantry, we're just going to give you the breakdown of the Army as a whole. This will give you a basic understanding of it all. Alright, the structure of the U.S. Army is as follows. At the top, there's armies. Armies consist of corps, and each corps has divisions. Divisions have brigades or regiments. Brigades or regiments typically have three to five battalions. These battalions have four to six companies, and the companies have three to four platoons. Each platoon has two to three squads, and these squads have two fire teams. An army fire team consists of four soldiers, which are a team leader, an automatic rifleman, a grenadier, and a rifleman. There you go. You now have a basic understanding of how the U.S. Army is organized. Let's move on to the structure of the U.S. Marine Infantry. Since it's a much smaller entity, it is a bit easier to be specific. The Marine Infantry is the largest component of the Ground Combat Element, or GCE, of anything within the Marine Corps. Whether it's a MEF, a MEB, a MU, or a MAGTAF, there will always be a GCE element. Within the Marine Infantry, there are four divisions. 1st Marine Division, 2nd Marine Division, 3rd Marine Division, and 4th Marine Division. 1st and 2nd Mardiv have 3 Marine Regiments, and 3rd and 4th Mardiv have 2. Within these regiments are Battalions. 1st and 2nd have 9 Battalions, 3rd has 6, and 4th has 8. So if you hear that someone was in 1-3, that means that they were in 1st Battalion, 3rd Marine Regiment. The more you know. Okay, so now we're on to the Battalion level. A Marine Infantry Battalion consists of three rifle companies, a weapons company, and a headquarters and service company. A rifle company will contain three rifle platoons, a weapons platoon, and a company headquarters. A platoon will have three rifle squads and a headquarters element. These rifle squads are made up of three fire teams, and these fire teams are made up of four Marines. The fire team is the most basic element of the GCE. It contains a team leader, a rifleman, an automatic rifleman, and assistant automatic rifleman. So there you go. Now you know the basic breakdown of the Marine Infantry. Alright, now you know the structure of both the Army Infantry and Marine Infantry. We're now going to go over where you can be stationed in both of these communities. We'll start off with the Army Infantry, and then move on to the Marine Infantry. If you find yourself in the U.S. Army Infantry, some of the places you can be stationed at are Fort Riley, Kansas, Fort Lewis, Washington, Fort Stewart, Georgia, Fort Carson, Colorado, Fort Bliss, Texas, Fort Hood, Texas, Fort Drum, New York, Fort Polk, Louisiana, Fort Wainwright, Alaska, Fort Richardson, Alaska, Schofield Barracks, Hawaii, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Okay, now on to the Marine Infantry. If you find yourself in the Marine Infantry, you will be mainly stationed at Camp Pendleton, California, 29 Palms, California, and Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. 
not much of a selection compared to your army counterparts, that's for sure. Alright, now you know where you might be stationed if you get into the army or marine infantry. Now you're probably wondering what kind of training is required for both of these. Let's get into it. We're going to start off with the training required to become a Marine Infantryman first, then go over the armies. To get in the Marine Infantry, you'll have to go to boot camp, which is 13 weeks long, and then get through ITB, which is 8 weeks long. ITB stands for Infantry Training Battalion, which is conducted at the School of Infantry West, which is in Camp Pendleton, California, and School of Infantry East, which is at Camp Geiger, North Carolina. ITB trains, develops, and certifies Marines as riflemen, machine gunners, mortarmen, infantry assaultmen, and anti-tank missilemen in order to provide basically qualified infantrymen for service in the operating forces. Marines will receive training in marksmanship, grenades, land navigation, patrolling, and much more. There's also MICMAP, which stands for Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, and we're sure you saw this coming. There's a lot of PT, conditioning, and hikes. And a quick fun fact for you, starting in 2021, which is when this video came out, the Marine Corps is testing out a different infantry training curriculum that will be a longer course of instruction for infantry Marines. This is part of the restructuring of the Marine Corps we mentioned to you earlier. There's even talks of consolidating all of the MOSs into one. Only time will tell if that happens for sure or not though. And if you want to become a Marine Infantry Officer, you'll have to go through OCS, then TBS, and then IOC, which stands for Infantry Officer Course. If you want to know more about OCS and TBS, stick with us until the end of the video where we'll point you in the right direction. Let's move on to the training you'd go through if you wanted to join the Army Infantry. It all happens at one place, OSUT. OSUT stands for One Station Unit Training. OSUT puts you through boot camp as well as your AIT with the same instructors. Infantry OSUT is 22 weeks long and is located at Fort Benning, Georgia. During your time in infantry school, you will learn these skills. Pause the screen to take a longer look. If you want to become an infantry officer after you commission, you'll go to the Infantry Basic Officer Leader course. So yeah, it's pretty cut and dry for both of these communities. Now you know what schools you'll be expected to attend if you decide to embark on either of these journeys. But do you even qualify to give it a shot? Let's see. This section is going to be pretty quick. To qualify to be a Marine or Army Infantryman, you'll pretty much just have to fit the basic service requirements for the branches. And if you want to become an officer in either of these fields, you'll need a bachelor's degree in literally anything, even underwater basket weaving if that's your style. These are very large and broad career fields, which means their requirements won't be as stringent as soft communities are. But that by no means says that they are any less important or admirable. It's just the way it is. All right, we're about to wrap up this video. But don't go just yet, we're going to go over some other videos that you should definitely go check out. During this video, you learned that the Army Infantry and Marine Infantry are quite similar, yet very different. They're both highly trained in combat, but both have different specialties and purposes that they execute. The Army is more land-based, whereas the Marines are more amphibious. The Army Infantry is much bigger than the Marine Infantry and gets much more funding than the Marines too. But at the end of the day, they're both crucial to the success of our military operations and work in concert with each other to keep us safe. That leads us to our question for you. If you made it this far with us, which do you prefer? Army Infantry or Marine Infantry? Leave us a comment on what you think. Now onto the videos we got for you. First one up is our video on Corman, the enlisted medical asset for the Navy and Marine Corps. You definitely have to watch that. We've also done videos on Marine OCS, as well as TBS. If you want to know how Marine Officer is made, you definitely got to check them out. We've also done other videos on various entities in the Army. On screen are all the ones we've done so far. All of these links will be in the description below. Lastly, if you like the versus video format, we've done other videos like this. The thumbnails on screen are the versus videos we've done so far. The playlist to these will be in the description below. Well, that is the down and dirty of the U.S. Army Infantry and U.S. Marine Infantry. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step and supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge 
and you don't even want to be here. 